Google Analytics is a free and powerful service provided by Google that helps you monitor your website traffic. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can register with Google Analytics and how you can integrate it with your website. To access Google Analytics, you need to have a Google account or a Gmail email address. If you don't have one, to create one is really easy. You need to go to google.com and then here on the top right hand side, click on sign in. And here it will give you the option to create an account. This is for myself. And then all you need to do is complete your personal information and create your Google account like that. So this is if you don't have a Gmail email address. Once you have created a Gmail email address, the next step is to go to Google Analytics. So type analytics.google.com into the URL section and then click enter. So you need to be logged into your Google account to access Google Analytics. And then this is how you can set up a free account. So click on set up for free. So I'm going to call this account Natura Vita. Leave all of these checked. Click on next. Here it asks you what you want to measure. So we want to measure our website data. So leave that selected. Then scroll down and click on next. So here we need to add our website name. For that, I'm putting Natura Vita. Then your website URL. So I've put that here, www.natravita.net. For industry category, I'm putting business and industrial markets. For reporting time zones, I'm selecting UK. For time zone, I'm going to select United Kingdom and then click on create. So I'm going to change this to United Kingdom. Then accept Google's terms and conditions. Scroll down, accept again, and I accept. All right, so this is how easy it is to create a Google Analytics account. So your tracking ID is what connects your website with your Google Analytics account. If you already have a tracking ID, but you want to create another one, it's very easy to do. Let me show you how to do that very quickly. You go here to admin and then click on create account. So it's the same process that we've just completed. So you do it again and then you can create another tracking ID. So the next step is to connect our Google Analytics account with our website. To do that, I'm going to go to my website, naturavita.net. So this is the back end of my website, so the dashboard area. I'm going to go to the left hand side here, hover over plugins and then click on add new. In the search area, type Google Analytics dashboard. So this is the plugin that we're going to install. It's by Monster Insights and it has over two plus million active installations. It is lightweight and incredibly effective. So what you want to do is click on install now and then click on activate. Then click on launch the wizard and it will take you step by step through the process of connecting your website with the Monster Insights. In this part of the installation process, you need to choose the account and tracking code you just created in step one. Then click on complete connection. For who can see reports, I'm going to leave the default settings of administrator, editor. And this also means that when you're browsing your website, it won't record your data just to keep things accurate. Now click on save and continue. Again, save and continue. I'm going to skip this step, but if you want to install WP Forms, then click on Continue and Install. Now click on Finish Setup and Exit Wizard. You can view your data by clicking on your dashboard and you can view the stats here. If you newly install the plugin, it will take a few hours for that to populate. And if you want to see more stats, you can click on Go to the Analytics Dashboard here so you can access a lot of your data for your website without actually leaving your website. For example, you have an overview here of your website data for the last 30 days. Then it gives you data about where people are coming from, what devices they're using, what pages they're visiting and so much more. If you want to get a lot more data, of course, you can head over to Google Analytics where you can access a lot more data for your website. Now, if you would like a detailed tutorial about how to use Google Analytics, so how to read and understand your data, then please watch the full tutorial, which I will link at the end of this video and in the description box. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Take care and bye-bye.